Well, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Beater Rider's Garage. And, uh, or Bingo's Garage, either way you want to call it. Um, talk about installing things. So, at the end of the one video, K&N air filters. I like K&N air filters because they're washable, reusable, blah, blah, blah. So, we're going to put this in the K&N spider. And it's really simple. They're not really hard. Just pull a couple panels off. I think you only got to do one panel actually, and uh, pops out. Take the air cleaner right out the the cover off. There's three screws pulled off. Put the filter in. Pull the old, old filter out. Put the new filter in. That easy. They're really really simple. It's gonna be a real short one on how to put this in. Um, I like can ends because they're washable and you can reuse them. I keep the old filter, so whenever I wash the other one, I can put that in there and keep riding the bike. Uh, they're handy. Yeah, they say they got better flow, blah, blah, all that good stuff. Gives your engine more airflow. All right, well, air makes engines run better. And it really is just judged by the timing anyhow. Uh, I don't really it's worth it or not. I just think that it's it's $40 for this. It's 30 something for an air filter. If I have to buy another air filter, it's another $30. So it's $60. These are 40 So if I wash it, no, I'm only spending $40 instead of spending 60 And if I wash it three times, now I've saved myself another $30. So every time you wash this filter, you save that cost. The other thing is, like I said, you keep your old one because whenever you wash this, it's going to take some time because you have to wash it, dry it. Uh, I did another video with my Harley one. Uh, you have to wash it, dry it, do all that. So in between there, if you want to ride your bike, put the old air filter back in it. You got it apart anyways. And then you can still ride your bike. If it's winter, eh, you might not have to do that. But either way, we're going to show you how to put this thing in real quick, real easy. And uh, well, let's get started. As you can see, there's panels everywhere. So I got a nice little stool here. So I'm going to take these two screws here, pop this off. There's a screw here. There's a screw there. These just pop out. They're not actually screws. They just pop right out. Um, I think I got to take this off maybe. And there's a panel behind here I got to pull out. Then I just take the air cleaner right out of it. It's not really that difficult to do. Uh, so I need to do. You can see with the seat, this has that, I uh, showed before, that door, so you get to the fuel cap, which is right there. And there you go, that's the way she can plug in her phone and her heated gear right there. It sucks having it there, but we're also going to put it. And then this runs back, and this actually runs the trailer hitch lights. So it direct feeds the battery. I put a splitter in there so she can, uh, it runs the battery, right from the battery to the trailer lights. It runs right up under the seat, it runs out here. And like I said before, it runs down at the bottom down here and comes out there. So and the relay's back here in the corner. They're not really hard to install. So let me get some tools. I think I need a 20, I think it's a 27 Torx. And then uh, put this camera up and I can get busy. As you see there that was pretty simple you just take that cover off the bolts here there's one underneath up there this one back here and these two things just pop in these little holes here which really don't do nothing but hold it in place in fact i don't know where that one went to always a little grommet in there then the fill footer just slides right back in we just reverse the procedure and put it back together this one ain't even dirty she only got like nine thousand miles on it it really don't get too dirty you pull the filter and they don't really, they don't get too dirty. But I'll keep this just so far. I got to clean the other one up. I can do that. So that's all there is to that. Like I said, it's a real quick, easy thing to do to put an air cleaner in one of these. It just slides right down that hole. Then you put the cover back on. That easy. I was thinking there was one other cover, but that's on the other side. I think the heat shield's on the other side. There's a heat shield underneath there to get to the oil filter. And you change the oil filter on the other side, exact same thing, but on the other side. Alrighty. 
Well, that was pretty simple. Thanks for watching Beta Rider PA. Uh, and like I say, I'm out. A little short one. Have a good one. Bye.